Hello and welcome! I'm Norvegicus and this is my let's play of Drakan the Ancient Gates. This will be episode 13 of our adventure and in this episode we are finally going to go and kill Bone Grinder to clear the storms and get out of here because we have been here for a little while now. We are tired of the rain, we're tired of the thunder and the lightning. We want to move on to the place we're actually going to, Ravenshold. I'm but glad to see you. We have to go there first, and I think more black wings have spawned now. I'm not entirely certain, but I think so, so we'll have to look out for those. Uh, and I did say in the previous episode that now that we've found the giants, some of them have actually spawned in the overworld right here. So if we fly a little bit around here, we will find uh, some giants. Let's see if we can see them. I think there are at least two. Ah, there's one. Yeah. And the funny thing is that he doesn't have anything to hit us with. Like, there were some uh, barrels and rolls and stuff like that earlier here, but I already destroyed it. So you've got nothing to do. You, can, you can't do anything. Unless I land, I guess. So let's just kill him. For the experience. He can't drop anything, so it's just for the experience. And, you know, I'm kind of sadistic when it comes to these guys, so I enjoy killing them. <laughs> let's just say that. Um, there should be... Yep, there's one more here. Hello. Let's do the same to him. There he is. And there should be one more over here, I think. Yep, there is. That's the last one. Yeah, so there were three, not two, as I said at first. But yeah, there, they were all in places where there used to be war talks and crawls and stuff. Uh, so they could throw them at us, but now they can't anymore. So there we go. Uh, we have to just fly straight ahead and we should hit Bull Rider's lair up here. But there's going to be a little cutscene first, so let's watch that. So, three faces said to one car. Got to kill one grinder. <laughs> Not so easy as you think. Three faces bring no frame for one grinder. Even now she comes. Mesa drill, arrives! Oh no. Yeah, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Siblings. More traitors from the Dark Union, I assume? Oh, there are many old friends in our little group. A shame you won't live to see them. I spared your life once, Mesadrell, but I see my pity was misspent. It's a mistake I won't make a second time. Well, it's boss battle time. Yeah, oh, and this guy shoots electric balls at us. But it should be fine as long as we circle around. He should be able to hit us while we just spam our attacks. Just gonna do that. Um, as long as we kill one of the heads, the boss should be dead. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't need to concentrate on both heads. Oh, he got me right there. Oh, he still gets me sometimes, huh? Yeah, circling should, should be uh, the best way to do this. I think I could hit the, the electric balls as well, but it's kind of hard when he shoots so many of them. Oh, got me again. Come on, kill him. He's getting low on health now. Come on. Mezidrel, huh? It's a girl, too. He said, he said she. 
not the voice I'd uh, expect from a female, but I mean, who am I to judge? Female sea monsters. Well, die now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Be careful of that. Okay. So that was Mesidrel. Um Huge sea monster. It looks like, or it sounded like Arok had met her before, uh, but spared her life. So I don't know. But we get the uh, attack from her, from her. The electric attack. There you go. I can shoot lightning now. And a lightning ball as well. There's only one thing, and that is that, in my opinion, the electric attack is not very good. Uh, it's not very strong. It does hit. Uh, like, it's very easy to use if you want to hit the enemy, but it doesn't really hurt them all that much, so I don't tend to use this um, attack a lot, especially when compared to the sound-based attack that we have. But yeah, so this is uh, Bone Grinder's lair. We can see here how he makes the storms with this contraption thingy. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but... Yeah, you can't see it from here, but there's something down there that makes, that's making the... Uh, the storm. So this is not going to roll to the side. This wouldn't have rolled to the side before, so it's open now. Fire up, wish me luck. And now we enter the cave. There should be a barrel right here. There's nothing in it, of course. Uh, I'll just have to do something real quick. Yeah, sorry about that, I just have to fix something real quick. So yeah, we're back now. Should probably drink a potion, at least a little an elixir to make sure that I don't lose more health, or at least don't die. The message drill did mess us up a little bit, but it should be fine as long as you circle around. If you don't, then you're gonna get hit. Yeah. What sorcery is this? So, Bone Grinder can actually teleport people to wherever he wants them to be. I don't know why he teleported him to have his back turned, but <laughs> that was not a good idea. Uh, didn't, I don't know if you noticed that, but he had like glowing blue eyes, so whenever he teleports um, war chops, they'll have like glowing eyes for some reason. Money? Anything over here? Nope, nothing. Yeah, we should be really careful because we will obviously die if we fall down here, so we don't want to do that. Be careful. So yeah, uh, the War Talk in the previous episode and Bone Grinder just now, they both referenced Three Faces and said that Three Faces give them information and Three Faces help them. And I think, um, it's never been like, confirmed, but I'm pretty sure that Three Faces is supposed to be the Desert Lords. Because I do have more than one face, as you can see in the first episode or the second episode when they attacked um, Sardana, or when he attacked Sardana. He like, turned his head around and he had like, more than one face. So I think three faces are supposed to be the, um, the Desert Lords, but I could be wrong. I don't know what else it would be. Hello? Yeah, more girls. Does he see me? What the hell are you doing? Okay, now he saw me. Is the other one gonna react now? Nope, I guess not. He's just gonna stand there. Well, now we're gonna take the opportunity and sneak up on him. Sneaky sneaky. And boom! Yeah, they only take two hits anyway, but I mean, I saved one hit. Uh, my, uh, my durability, whoa. That's a lot, huh? That's, that's very radical, I know. More barrels, or at least one with an emerald in it. Emeralds are somewhat rare. They're going to get more and more frequent as we go through the game, but gemstones are generally more rare at the start of the game. Now we're going to get more war truck spawning. Right in our face. This guy doesn't even have a shield. Not this guy either, huh? I guess they didn't want to give me two shield guys at the same time. Although it would have been fine. Come on, game! Don't babysit me. I can, I can take them on. Don't underestimate me. 
even though I have t I have died like in weirdest places before, like when I s slid slid down into the lava because I hit the the rock instead of the well the side of the rock instead of the top of, of the rock. I mean, that was a weird one. More barrels. I feel like PewDiePie would love this game because he hates barrels, doesn't he? Or is that like? Outdated. I haven't watched him in years, so I don't know yet anymore. But I, I just know about the, the barrels thing from from earlier. So now, um, a fire shooting war duck is going to spawn up there, so I should be quick to take him out. I don't think he can hit me when I'm on the side there. So what wow, is shit at aiming? Oh, they got me one time. No, you stupid. Yeah, that was uh, that was messy, but we got him. If you want to, you can make him spawn and then jump right, like uh, back down and hide behind the box or something and shoot him with arrows instead. Um, but I'm not a pussy, so I didn't do that. I did it the correct way, my way, just like Frank Sinatra taught me. There's a grill down there. Do you think you're invisible, sir? Do you think I don't see you? Look at that overbite. Look at that overbite. Wow. Does it hurt when you close your mouth, mister? Yeah, well, let's look at the autonomy of... Uh, uh, no, not the autonomy, the anatomy. Um, the anatomy of... Uh, of gross. Wow, autonomy, anatomy. Not the same word, not the same meaning. Hello there, guy without a shield. Not scary at all. Even though you do take four heads to kill. Another barrel. Nothing in it. Um, I think there's a place to jump down here. Yep. Should be careful where you jump down because oh, you can take some some health. Uh, or you can lose some health if you are not careful enough. I don't want to do that. Anything over here though? Yeah, barrels. Always worth checking. There we go. 43 gold. Not too shabby for a bag of gold in a random uh, barrel, you know. I think you can see it now. This is what he's using to create the storm. Exactly. Go look down here, be very careful, but oh, you can see the crystal down there spinning around. And creating the storms with electric something. Yeah, electricity is big in this in this area apparently. If we walk around here though, there are some barrels and a chest. And in this chest, we do have something very special. A bow that we can use. The long battle bow. It's only level 2 skill um, in archery, but it's not very good anyway. It's only 9 damage. If we had skilled up uh, archery by this point, we would have had more than that, so it's not very good either way. Yes, so we should jump down here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a little bit of damage if I jump right down there, I think. Mm. I vividly remember that I lose health if I jump straight down here. Let me see if I can find a better spot to jump. Maybe we'll, yeah, okay, so we'll jump on that first. This first. And then we'll jump on this. Yeah, that was a good idea. Good job, me. Now we'll have to find the place where the boxes are, so that we can jump onto them, because we, we can't jump down, because the, the room down there, that's where Bone Grinder is. But if you jump down there, obviously you, you die. Uh, so we can't do that. So it's too steep. It's too far down. But we can jump here. But we have the boxes. So, you know. Right down the boxes. And it's going to be all fine. Still can't jump down there. We have to find another way around to get down there. But that's where Bone Grinder is. That's where the boss battle is going to happen. Let's continue. Hello? Anyone? Effigy of some kind. 
Anyone here? Hello? Hmm? Oh! There he is! I don't belong here, huh? Who are you to tell me where I belong, huh? Oh, come on! Hit him! That was dumb. Just don't let him hit me like that, Ren. Come on. Okay. Let's continue on. Yes, these guys are scary if they can hit us. We are going to try and uh, make them not hit us though. Well. So I say that as a mistake. Okay. Go. Circling around them is usually the best thing. Uh, unless he's like very close to the wall like he was. It's kind of hard to circle. Going to be more guys over here. Two of them, I think. Yep. And they both attack me at the same time. Which is not a good thing. We should kill one before the other one gets here. Don't hit the shield. Don't hit the body. There we go. And the other one. Are you coming? Don't want to get too close there because there are some fire shooters. You can see one in the distance. And there are some more down there. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, I stabbed him in the, in, the, in the gut. There we go. So there's a fire shooter down there. I think he can see me if he's getting a little closer, but at the moment. And there's another one over there. So I'm gonna go and kill the one over there first. Gonna dodge his fireballs as usual, because there's nothing to hide behind here. I'm here. Wow, are you serious? Wow, really? Why am I so bad at dodging today? This is not my day. Wow. I'm usually better at dodging, I promise. You've seen me dodge better than that. <laughs> that was like really unlucky. Wow. Yep, and there's another far shooter down there. He saw me. So I can be a little bit cheap. And shoot him. If I can aim up. Oh, and now he can hit at me. That's the problem though. Not yet, can me. God damn it. Why? Maybe I can hide behind the pole. Uh, you die now. No, I can't uh, hit them from hit him from here. Um I guess it's not an option. Oh well. Uh. Can I hit the other one though? Or is he like underneath me now? I think he is. Oh wow. Oh. I guess I'll just kill him the old fashioned way. By running around. You can shoot him from here, but then he'll just start shooting at me. Um, immediately, so there's no reason to do that. Let me just save, just in case, because you can see how much damage these guys do to me. So I just want to be on the safe side. It's just like I always say, in this game, you should save a lot. Unless you want to redo stuff, which, um, who wants to redo stuff? It's not fun. Because now, oh. Yeah, so there's now a fire shooter on each side of me. One there, and one over there, a little bit over there. Hello there, Mr. Wartok. Blue-eyed Wartok. Now you were here. Why are you celebrating? I killed your friend. You should be angry. Yes, it's funny how like every enemy in the game has a celebration move that they do. Oh, might as well go over here and get the, the barrels. I don't think the other fire guy can shoot me from here, so I'm safe for now. The girls might come over here, maybe? It looks like they're having trouble getting to me. The AI is not the smart, smartest. The, the pathfinding is not the best. 
Oh, one of them is coming. Okay. Let's get rid of them, rid of them first. They're easy enough to kill. What is he doing? What is he doing? Is he stuck on, this, on the, the rock? Or something? Yeah, I don't know. Don't care, let's go care, uh, let's, go, let's go kill the, uh, the fire shooter over here. And then the other fire shooter after that. And I better have dodging now. A little bit. Oh, I even dodged one of his melee attacks. Oh, he can see me now. Yeah, the range is getting kind of weird. The barrel, get a scepter. Okay, so should we go and take care of the fire guy now? It's, it's kind of scary if the girl decides to help him out. Fire guy is uh, scary enough as well. But there we got him. The girl is finally free from the rock, only to be killed by me instantly. Poor guy. You know what? I don't have any sympathy for him. Screw that guy. Okay, let's continue. We're going to go down here, and now we're very, very close to um, Bone Grinder's room. We have a few more war to take care of first. Don't fall into the lava, Ren. It's a bad idea. I mean, you know that because you've done it before. There we go. And I think that was the last war talk in this area before Bone Grinder. So, yeah. It's a little bit tricky to find your way in here, I think, but. I mean, I've done it multiple times, I know the way, but if you don't know the way, then it's, it's kind of hard, I guess, I understand that. So this is into the Bone Rider room, and I should, I should, um, hold on a minute, why is this blinking? Yeah. So we should summon the uh, lightning bolt right away because we have to do it, or we have to use it to kill Bone Rider. I'm just going to save first because this is a boss battle after all, and stuff could happen. It's not a particularly hard boss battle, but it's a, it's a tiny bit annoying, uh, and you'll see why in a minute. But yeah. So, you'll get past God. We can stay. Not fit to serve Lord Grinder. I'll give you one chance. Remove the storms and let the sailors leave. That's the only way you get to live. Arrogant human! Over a hundred years, Lord Grinder lives. Never hear such foolishness. Lord Grinder, keep your skull, baby. Laugh at you for years to come. Wow. Who's arrogant? I mean, both of them are arrogant. Both Ren and Bone Rider. But yeah, we have to destroy the, um, the crystal because it is actually making him invincible. So he can't be killed unless we destroy the uh, crystal first. There are three of them, one in each corner, only one left. Uh, he's trying to kill us, but he can't hit me because I'm running away. <laughs> and there we go. And now let's kill him. Oh, I dodged that very poorly. Yeah, and now he's easy to kill. There we go. So much for your storm trap, bone grinder. Yep, there he is, and we got his staff too. Bone grinder staff. You can see that he has the the blue lightning attack that he used in us. We can use that as well with that special attack. But twelve damage, armor piercing damage. It's not very good. So I tend to sell this. It is worth a pretty penny. So it is definitely worth selling, but it's not very good as a weapon to use, unfortunately. But it is very cool looking, uh, definitely. But we will we will be selling it, even though it is cool. So that was Bone Grinder. Uh, now you can see the crystal that was here earlier is now destroyed. It's what gave him his invisibility, but he wasn't so tough without it. So 
nothing to loot here. Nope, doesn't look like it. If you go over here, we can pull a lever to open up the portal and obviously be transported right back out of here to the teleporter we saw, saw outside. go the storm is now cleared it's awesome right and Eric is right there you look well rested yeah I was about to say you look well rested okay I can't go on the teleporter with Arok unfortunately that would, would have been fun imagine killing bone grinder with Arok that would have been easy yep let's fly out of here and see what happens when we get out here Little cutscene. Congratulations, lass! You've surely saved us all! If you're still wanting to reach Raven's Hold, we're heading there now! Follow my ship and we'll guide you through! And there we go. So I'm going to cut out the uh, loading screen as usual, so I'll see you in a little bit. And here we are, back in the game. Now you can see we are in a snow area because every game has like an ice snow area, so... As a Norwegian, I feel at home here. We have a new area, which means a new map, so this is the map of Raven's Hold. And we've got some new primary quests. We have to locate Raven's Hold because Raven's Hold is actually a fortress. Um, and we have also to restore the gateway to Serdana. So we're going to explore a little bit of this. Uh, what do you call this little place here? Like lighthouse area? Yeah, we can, we can land here and talk to some people before flying on our merry, merry way. Hello. Yes, yeah, so Captain Fanderil, he will he will guide you here regardless if you find his charts or not. So. Ah, our young savior. You have our gratitude, lass. This trading post is as far as we can take you, I'm afraid, but Raven's Hold is just a ways inland. One more thing. There's something I wanted to give you. It's not much, but maybe it will help you in your journeys. Take care, lass, and think a kind thought for old Captain Fandril every now and again, eh? Eh? <laughs> Laugh. Laughter was kind of creepy, but I got a potion of life and a full mana. I appreciate it, sir. We have a chest right here. And nothing else really in this this room. Five gold. Wow. If we go down here, though, we have some people to talk to. Hello there. Good luck! We'll not forget you! Thank you. Right, there is a box I can destroy right here. Nothing in it though, can be. I think that's a toilet. I'm not sure. Gonna look like one. More boxes to destroy right here. Yeah. And I know I've said it before, but the music in this game absolutely amazing. And the only reason this ladder is here is because if you fall down and climb back up, so there's nothing down there, as far as I can remember. I can even have a ship though. But if you go in here, this, this is the captain's cabin. Uh, it's kind of cool because we did find his charts there here. And if we look on the table right here, this I think this is the map of the Shadow Mire, isn't it? No, no, no way. No, it's not. It's not Raven Soul. I think this might be the Shadow Mire map. I'm not sure, but it's cool that they use the map from the actual game. Yeah, it gives you more maps here. This looks more like a so no it's not. <laughs> yeah, this is another map, so it's cool that he has the maps from the actual game in here. You get a potion of life, that's another thanks, so you get us basically three potions of life as, uh, as a thanks for helping him. Appreciate that, sir. And then let's go... Because there is a little more we can do, we can go up to the lighthouse. Now we're just trying to land, but he can't. Run over here uh, up the mountain. And get a bike house. So there's also another little hut here. Going to the 
Many thanks for clearing those storms. Hey, no problem, dude. I, I basically did it just for myself, but I'm glad I could help you as well. Is that even okay to say? I did it for myself, but I'm glad I could help you as well, just randomly. Yeah, don't attempt to jump down from this height. It is not safe. You could jump into the water, though, if that is impossible. I've never tried that. You don't die from hitting the water here, even though it is cold, probably. Don't worry, Arak, I'm coming. Yeah, so now we should try to fly towards Ravensel. Of course. Of course. Yeah, it's funny how everyone in this game has a British accent, and then this guy has an American accent. Kind of weird. I think even that. Uh, in the first game, someone else voiced Arab in the first game, and that they changed voice actor for this game, I think. I never played the first game, as I said, but I, I, I think I've heard that. Yep, so I'm going to leave this in place and see if we can find uh, Raven's Fold now. Let's just uh, save the game. And... Uh, yes, so you know what? I'm going to... Uh, end the episode right here and in the next episode we are going to go and see if we can find Raven's Hold and also we're going to explore a little bit of the surrounding area of the fortress of Raven's Hold and see if we can get some more secrets. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dracon the Ancient's Gates and I hope that you will join me in the next episode as well. Bye bye for now. It's a little bit tricky to find your way in here, I think, but, I mean, I've done it multiple times, I know the way, but if you don't know the way... Do you know the way? So, three faces say to one car. Got to kill one grinder. <laughs> Not so easy as you think. 